Today on this 2011 Nissan Xterra, we're going to be installing Kurt Hitch part number 13514. Before we get started with our installation, we're going to go ahead and show you a couple of final install dimensions that are going to help make choosing your hitch accessories a little bit easier. From the top of the receiver tube opening to the ground is going to measure 18 inches. And from the center of the pinhole to clear the rear edge of the bumper is going to measure approximately 2 inches. And now we'll go ahead and move on to our installation. Okay, moving on to the installation, the first thing we've done is go ahead and remove the spare tire so we have some extra working room. And go ahead and point out the mounting holes we're going to be using to install the trailer hitch. You see here towards the end of the frame, we've got three bolts holding the bumper onto the frame here. We're going to be removing the two lower bolts and using the two weld nuts in the frame as our two rearmost attaching points. And then if we follow forward on the inside of the frame, there is an existing weld nut here that doesn't have any hardware in it currently. And that will be our third and final attaching point. And that's going to be the same on the passenger side of the vehicle as well. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and remove the two bolts per side of the vehicle. The last thing we want to do before we go ahead and put the hitch up in position is to go ahead and clean out the weld nuts in the frame that didn't have any existing bolts in them. To do that, we're going to use a spray lubricant like a WD-40 and go ahead and spray the threads down. And we're just going to take a wire brush and go ahead and run that in there. Any vehicle that's seen at least one winter is going to have some road grime or corrosion built up into the weld nuts and doing the cleaning process is going to make the inserting of our new bolts much easier. You may need to do this a couple of times, but once those are cleaned, you can go ahead and put the hitch up. And do the two weld nuts here at the end of the frame. We're going to be using the new 14 millimeter bolts along with the lock washer. And into the forward weld nut, we're going to be using the new 12 millimeter bolts along with the conical tooth washer. And then with all the bolts in place and tightened down, we're just going to go back through and torque each one of the bolts down. We want to verify with the directions of the specific torque rating for each of the bolts. Then with all the bolts torqued down, our installation is complete. That will conclude the installation of Kurt Hitch, part number 13514.